Thank you, Charlie. The UW student who was brutally beaten by a stranger on Sunday morning was also sexually assaulted. That's according to the latest update from Madison Police. Police say she is expected to survive and that they're working with UW to make sure she has all the help she needs. Police are again asking for help with finding the person who did this to her. If you live in the area of West Wilson and Bedford Streets, police are asking that you send in any surveillance video or photos that you may have from the holiday weekend. They add maybe if you have a te Tesla that was parked in the area, that car could have recorded some important information. So far, police have not released a description of a possible suspect. MPD says you should also be extra cautious while in that area of the city. Other students in Wisconsin feeling shaken up because of this attack here in Madison. One student at Alverno College in Milwaukee says she's used to being followed or catcalled, but it's unfortunate that it continues at the college level. It sounds really scary and it's kind of sad that's just how the world we live in. Law enforcement locally and in Milwaukee both urge students to use the buddy system when walking to class or at night. And this brutal attack happening just as students are getting back into the classroom. UW-Madison's first day of the semester is today. Our Phoebe Murray joins us now live from Bascom Hill. Phoebe, campus police are sharing resources and reminders for students to stay safe this school year. Good morning and Tim students here on campus understandably shaken and voicing their concerns in terms of safety this week. I want to bring in Officer Kirchman with UWPD. First, thank you for your time. Given this proximity uh, of the attack to campus, what is the department's message for students who are feeling unsafe this week? Well, I think first of all, we want to express our concern and support for the survivor of this horrible incident, uh, as well as any family, friends, uh, or anybody that feels impacted. Uh, as you probably know, the Madison Police Department's leading the investigation. We are encouraging anybody who might have information that would be helpful to contact the Madison Police Department. UWPD is assisting them in whatever way that we can. Uh, some of the things that we're doing are increasing uh, our patrols and visibilities, not only in the main area of campus, that's our primary responsibility, but also in those uh, near campus neighborhoods that house a lot of our students and staff members. Um, another thing that we're doing these days is just trying to get the word out to people uh, by promoting uh, common guidelines of, uh, of personal safety. You've seen the buddy system, trusting your instincts. You guys also recently just rolled out Badger Safe. What does that uh, offer to students, even staff and parents as well? Yeah, the Badger Safe app, uh, uh, really, uh, we're trying to get the word out on that as much as possible. Uh, it uh, re was recently rolled out and uh, offers a r great variety of services. Uh, there are support services on it. There are ways to contact emergency services. It's, um, it, it offers a friend walk program uh, and, and can be used in a, a variety of different ways to just improve personal safety um, and, and should be available out there for all cell phone platforms. And it's been growing. I understand we have a, a, a new count on the morning. Would you mind sharing that with us? Yeah, at last count, we're over uh, 14,000 users of the program. That's wonderful. Officer, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Some great reminders uh, and safety tips for students who are back on campus and heading off to their first classes today here in Madison. Reporting live from Basketball Hill, Phoebe Murray, NBC 15 News. And now.